Good morning guys from Quartzsite, Arizona. It is a beautiful day here. Uh, it's supposed to get crappy in a day or two and uh, wind and rain, but right now it's freaking awesome. So right now I thought it'd be a great time to send our new DJI Mavic Pro up for its first flight. So far my initial opinion on uh, this drone is that it is light years more advanced than the GoPro Karma, and we've owned one of those. Uh, GoPro Karma was an awesome, easy to use. Like if you're afraid of using a drone, I would say go with the GoPro Karma when it does come back out on the market, or if it ever does, because that's a big giant air that they may just want to move on from. But the DJI Mavic Pro has so many more features, so much smaller, you can grow into it. I will say the initial setup of the Karma took like no time at all, maybe like less than five minutes. It took a little bit more time on the uh, Mavic Pro, which wasn't a big deal, but it is a little bit more complicated. I'm also really digging the uh, compact size of the uh, Mavic. That is able to uh, fit in our existing camera bag, so when we do uh, go on long excursions, we have all our camera gear in one place instead of it requiring its own separate bag. Okay guys, this is literally my first flight with this drone. All I've done is the uh, setup process and I started the motors to make sure it works, but other than that, this is it. Well, that was interesting. This is a uh, great drone, guys. Another initial observation that I liked better about the Karma is the fact that I have to use my phone, which has a horrendous glare when it's sunny out. That sucks. The uh, Karma screen had a lot better, uh, I don't know, it had better qualities where you could see it in the uh, daytime sun. But that wasn't bad. This guy had a pretty good first flight. Do you guys remember the uh, video a few back where we used the GoPro Karma grip in the ATV and how smooth that footage was. Well, this is going to be a, re a reminder of what footage looks like when you don't use a gimbal on a uh, dirt rocky road. One of the things we're doing while we're here with the escapers is uh, getting together with fellow YouTubers and uh, there's a lot of aspiring YouTubers out there and uh, we're by no means like veterans but we uh, have learned a lot along the way and uh, we've learned a lot of it the hard way and if we could help a few people out that'd be awesome. And maybe even learn something new ourselves. Part of the fun of these events is meeting people. And today uh, we've just connected with Julie from RV Love, fellow YouTubers, bloggers, travelers. Yeah. And I think our real connection is at a deeper level because we're travelers and international. Definitely. Yeah. So when you hear her talk, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, too right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a traveling spirit. And you guys know that about us. We are ultimately travelers of, you know, we're not full-time RVers. We've talked about that one with you. But travel is awesome, and we're getting to meet all these amazing people here. Well, that's yeah. where we find our kindred spirits. Yeah. And I'm also going to uh, put in the end screen a link to their channel in case you haven't heard from them. But I'm going to guess you've uh, seen some of their videos before. I got an update for you on our little generator. As you can tell, I've pretty much taken it all apart. And this right here is the uh, piece that split open. You pump it seven times to uh, prime the engine for uh, starting. Now I've thoroughly tried to unscrew this to see if I can just find another bulb and uh, put it on. It's not happening. I've taken it apart here, taken it apart there, but this bulb assembly is one solid piece. 
I initially thought I'd be able to like put some uh, 5200 or even flexible like shoe glue over it, but the crack is just way too big. And the odds of me finding this here in Quartzsite are slim to none. So I think I'm just gonna have to uh, order it and have it sent to Yuma or San Diego. And then we'll just run off our uh, big obnoxious house generator for a while. Okay, I'm open to any suggestions that uh, you guys might have for uh, Jerry rigging this thing, but I've uh, seen those bulbs at the hardware stores, but none of them uh, will actually fit if you can't get the existing bulb off. I don't know, maybe I just run the house generator for a little bit. So, hey, thanks for joining me today. We will catch up with you tomorrow.